Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. You want to say hi? See, Moosey wants to say hi. Hi! Are you crazy? Okay. So you will probably see the dogs around during this video. And they're absolutely crazy. So in this video, my husband and I will be remodeling our fish tank here. And this is going to be a couple day process, so you're going to see footage from several different days. But today, basically, I am just going to empty as much water as I can while still giving the fish enough space to swim. That way we can take this tank basically off because it's sitting on a platform, um, which is kind of how this tank is made. You'll kind of see it more throughout the video. So here's an overview of the tank. It's actually due for a water change right now, so it's kind of dirty. But we're obviously going to clean all that once we get done with the remodel. So as you can see, there is a lot of baby mollies. Like all the adults have pretty much passed away. They were all pretty old. And you can also see like here, we have a bunch of snails. We got some live plants. The main reason why we're redoing it is we didn't put like a like a clear finish on this so a lot of nicks have come out of the tank so we're going to go ahead and fix that and one other thing that we're going to fix is going to be this lighting system originally just used led strip lights and then covered them with like a clear tape to protect them as you can see like in the corner like it's that weird blue like the, the water is getting to the LED strip and affecting it. I actually already had to replace a full strip. So we're going to be doing a different lighting system. And then the way that these connect to here, like if you bump the corner, this will actually like shift out, which is super annoying. And I actually have broken this top glass once because of that. So we're going to kind of restructure that so this is just more stabilized and kind of stays together. So right now we are going to go ahead and take some of this water out and I'm going to do that by using like a gravel vacuum siphon which means I will also be cleaning out these rocks in the bottom at the same time. So let's go ahead and get that done. So here is their temporary little setup. We have the lights turned on, but we don't have the heater or air pump or filter or anything like that going on because it is a lot less water and it doesn't really hook up properly. But you can see the fishies. Even though there isn't much water, the fish should be okay in here for the two to three days that it takes for us to remodel the tank. To refinish the wood, my husband started by sanding down all the pieces and then removing the sawdust by using water and a rag and then using a tack rag as well. Now that the wood was all prepped, he went ahead and added one more layer of the stain that was previously on there just to give it some nice color. After the stain was dry, he went ahead and added his first coat of clear coat. After the first layer of clear coat was dry, he went ahead and sanded it with a very fine sandpaper just to give it a very nice smooth finish and then he removed all the sawdust with a tack rig. Then he gave it one more coat of clear coat and this is the final result. The last thing he did was add some new anchors for the legs. Hi hey guys, so it's finally the day that we're actually going to go ahead and finish assembling the fish tank. I put away the plastic temporary coffee table and my husband's about to bring up all the wood pieces and as you just saw we basically just refinished all the wood and did some different anchoring for the legs so far so we're gonna bring that up and while he's finishing all his stuff I don't know really what he's doing but we are going to first of all check to make sure my new light works. 
So this is my new light. I'm just going to plug it in, make sure it all works. And then after I make sure that works, I'm going to go ahead and take off all this LED strips and just remove that. I'm also going to go ahead and rinse off my gravel and make sure that's all good to go. And then I'm also going to clean the glass on this tank. So I'm going to wipe the inside with some water, outside with some Windex, and then we should be ready to go to put this all together. So the camera cut out on me again, but basically I added some leaf zone for the plant and then I also added some AccuClear which basically clears cloudy water. The water was kind of cloudy and had lots of floaters so I went ahead and added that and I also plugged in the light so we got the light up here. The reason why it looks like there's a big white cloud is that's what the AccuClear is doing. Um, yeah. So that's what it looks like right now. Basically, the only thing I need to do inside the tank yet is add the filter and the heater. But I'm going to wait to do that. Basically, we need to still add some supports here on the side. And then we also need to secure the top yet. So this is what it looks like from the top. And it's actually pretty cool. We have an allowance right here for the air pump tubing. <music> guys so it's actually the next day the fish tank is all complete I did not have the motivation to film the ending of this video yesterday pretty much what you saw was as far as we got before we experienced a lot of fish death um, pretty much we got it all together and they just started dropping like flies and yeah so I definitely was not in the greatest state yesterday. I love my fish and it was very sad that they were just all dying. I have a lot of babies in here so a lot of the fish that died were definitely babies. Um, we had two bigger fish die and I would say overall my estimate would be about 15 fish died. Right now we have some fish in there still. There's about a dozen at least left so that's good. Um, so as soon as they started dying, I instantly went and checked the water because my thought was something is wrong, obviously. So I used my Freshwater Master Test Kit and sure enough, um, the pH level had spiked. There was dangerous ammonia levels and I also had some nitrate, high, like high levels of nitrates. So yeah, obviously something created these spikes. I'm not quite sure why. I did add new gravel. Could have been that, but I did rinse it off thoroughly. Otherwise, it must just be the addition of the tap water 
and the 75% water change was pretty much what happened because it was here and then I just filled it all the way to the top. But I did use tap water conditioner, which I would have thought would have, you know, been safe, at least to not create that many deaths all of a sudden. Because yeah, they were literally dropping like flies. Like I have, I have never seen or heard anything like that happening where they just like all die. So I had my husband go and pick up these two things. So we used some pH down to lower the pH level because it was pretty high. And then the ammonia levels were also pretty high. So I got some ammonia neutralizer and I added these two. And then I already had this, which is a nitrate reducer. Added this and then basically today I retested the water levels to see where it was at. The pH level is now good. Nitrate levels were good but not great. They were like right at the line of being okay. So I went ahead and added some more of this. Um, pH level was good. I think I already said that. Money levels were still a little bit high. So I'm just going to keep monitoring the levels in this tank. They seem to all be doing well now. None of the fish seem to be struggling. They all seem to be happy. They ate their breakfast this morning. So I think if I ever do this again, I'm going to take the fish out. So that way, if there's any spikes in levels, I can control that before reintroducing them to the tank. The reason why I didn't want to take them all out of the tank while we did this process was because there was so many babies. We probably had like 30 fish at least and trying to fish out all these babies with the fish net just sounded stressful to the fish and not very safe because I could easily like leave one because they are quite tiny. But yeah, I definitely would not recommend doing like a 75% water change. A lot of stuff to get stirred up from the gravel, so that could have also added to it. But yeah, so I just want to be honest with you guys and give you guys an update. And yeah, it wasn't, it was just not a very good experience, but it happened. At that point, there's nothing else for me to do but to try to fix the water levels. So all the fish are healthy now, and that's all we can be thankful for. So now I'm going to give you guys a final overview of the entire fish tank setup. So here's the final tank. You still have the same decor inside, you know, the octopus, the boat, an anchor, a little jar back there. We got some live plants, blue gravel, which now there is some more of it because it was quite thin in some areas. We got our Tetra Whisperer filter back there. We also have a heater. And then if you kind of look back there, you can see we have an air pump and the actual coffee table looks so much nicer now. So we have the same finish that we had on before, like the same stain, but now we have a clear coat on top of that and you can just tell like it looks really nice. And we added these supports as you saw, which I think just adds to the tank. It just makes it look more solid and I don't know, just more aesthetically pleasing. The top is glass so you can see down. We do have the LED light here, which I have messed with it a little bit. It's pretty cool. So we have a lot of white LEDs and then it has some blue LEDs you can use and some different color LEDs. And then its remote also has like a built-in timer, which I am pretty excited about. And it has like a sunrise sunset effect. So it'll ramp up the intensity in the morning for like half an hour. It'll just gradually ramp up to full intensity. And at night it'll ramp itself down. For like a half an hour which I think would be really cool so it'll simulate sunrise sunset and yeah I think the fish tank coffee table looks super nice also just wanted to show you guys here we have like all the cords and then I just run it underneath the carpet and then I have underneath the couch I have a surge protector and then it actually plugs in over here so most of the wires are covered so the dogs aren't pulling on them not chewing on them. I have some wire protectors just in case, you know, moose would try nibbling on them. Or I have the bunnies up here and they, yeah, I don't want them to nibble on that either. So that's it for this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave me a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And remember, live life to the fullest.